Reed, how do you guys plan on defending Iowa's height? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're going to talk about that in practice a lot, emphasize that here in the next few days. Um, kind of, It's going to be similar to Minnesota where they're going to be bigger than us, but uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a plan that we're going to execute. And the biggest thing is going to be able to help rebound down. The guards got to contribute to rebounding because uh, as long as we hit them and be able to rebound, we'll have, give ourselves a chance. They, um, they've been susceptible to turning over the ball at a high rate. How can you guys capitalize on that? Uh, just staying solid defensively, can't gamble. Uh, our defensive principles we've been really emphasizing in practice a lot in these last uh, few weeks leading up to this game. And I think the more we work on that, the more we just keep that in mind on the defensive end, uh, the more it'll be able to help us uh, offensively and be able to get stops. How much more confidence is this team playing with right now? I mean, you push Minnesota to the wire. You guys are far more competitive, it seems like, right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this The senior group that we have and the upper class been a part of our team, uh, we've been waiting for this moment a long time. We've been through some ups and downs. And now that we can finally see a product on the floor that's starting to flow with confidence and get in the groove, it's, it's definitely fun to play in. And I think that uh, confidence piece, as well as just knowing that we've been there before and done that, is going to be able to get in the back of our minds so that when we go and play these big games, we'll be ready. How much do you enjoy the environment of this matchup and, and being in a big arena like this? Yeah, definitely. It's a huge opportunity for us. We, we love it. We look forward to it. Circle it on our calendar every year to play uh, another Iowa school and a Big Ten school for us, you know, close to home. It's definitely huge for us. A lot of uh, our fans are going to be there, and it's definitely an uh, opportunity that we feel like we're going to take advantage of. How bad do you guys want to get a win in one of these before you graduate here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been playing this game. I mean, I have for four years now, and uh, definitely with a senior group that have been through the ride with us, we definitely feel like we'll be able to put out a, a good product out there. Where's your personal confidence level at now compared to maybe years past? Uh, I mean, my game has definitely improved. I think I've been working uh, every, obviously every off season to uh, improve it. I'm just trying to be more efficient. And I think uh, that comes with confidence, comes with experience, as well as uh, the hard work that I put on the offense. And I think credit to uh, Coach Nico's new offense and what we've been able to do is just, it's, it's gotten me a lot easier shots and I've been able to knock them down as well as um, just having that inner mindset and inner confidence that's been able to push me uh, to a higher level. Was it, what is it about the uh, offense, I guess, that's maybe helped you specifically? It's just different looks. It's a lot, there's a lot of uh, reads that are, I, I would say, easier than years past. Uh, it's a lot of free, free moving, a lot of cuts, and it just gets opportunities for us to get open looks and more open looks as well as just cleaner looks. So I think it's, it's really easy for me to come in knowing what to expect every game instead of kind of having to guess, and I think that's a huge part for me. How do you guys keep the rhythm that you guys have offensively? Uh, you know, shooting can go cold real fast. How, how do you avoid that? Yeah, I mean, definitely just working on it every day in practice. And we know we're not going to make every single shot, but it's just a mindset of being able to defend and get – uh, stops as well as that's going to lead to easy open looks on the offensive end. The more we do that, the more we just keep it simple, the more that the shots are just going to come. And we know that throughout the game we're going to miss some, we're going to uh, make some, but we just got to stay on that and not track and stay focused. It'll lead to a lot um, you know, better shots down the stretch, and we'll be able to knock them down. I was a little thin right now. How important is it for you guys to kind of attack their bigs a little bit, get them and try and get them in some foul trouble? Yeah, definitely. That's part of our game plan, too. Uh, offensively is to get clean looks as well as trying to get to the free throw line. We talk about free throw margin a lot. And, you know, the more we be, we're able to attack their bigs, get them in foul trouble, puts them in a difficult spot, as well as gets us, us easy looks, gets us going. It's instead of just trying to jack up threes all game, we're trying to get that ball inside, get a bunch of easy looks. So that um, creates a domino effect where we're getting in the flow of the offense and get a lot of easy looks. Do set runs affect you guys at all as much as people want to make it out to be? Uh, not really, no. I mean, I'd say all of us are kind of focused on what we need to accomplish. We're not really distracted by the outside noise, especially that since we've been through it. You know, if we were younger, maybe it might have. But now that we're an older team and the younger guys can take from us, it's definitely uh, distractions are minimal. How's finals week going? It's finally over, I can tell you that. It was a rough week uh, being on the road on Monday at finals. But we all got through it, and I think we're ready to looking forward to uh, just playing basketball now.